Welcome to Interview by DHS PRC. We have our Bronco TRX4M. And it's time for the steering link and servo horn upgrade. Um, I am doing a lot of upgrades to this vehicle here. Uh, if you're watching the series, uh, you should see it. There's a couple upgrades that's been done to this vehicle already. Let's start by removing the cab. Uh, one of the upgrades is the I do have the light kit installed. I do have the steering knuckles and the steering links or steering caster and the steering casters and steering links upgraded to aluminum. Oh no, it's not aluminum, sorry, brass to give it a little bit more weight in the front. You can see it right here. They're shiny. Uh, and I do have other upgrades that I did not I did on this vehicle, but I did not show. Um, I do have the center drive shafts from Yaw Racing, fully steel upgraded on this vehicle. And I do have the shock towers from Yaw Racing, uh, fully upgraded to aluminum. Uh, just to give me more flexibility, because uh, it gives you more positioning on it. But today we're gonna do the Traxxas uh, genuine parts and it is the 97488 gray. Uh, there is um, the steering link, I mean. There is multiple colors of this. I'm just trying to keep the vehicle in the same color. Now, one of the first thing we're gonna do is flip the vehicle upside down, uh, keep it on top, I mean. And we're gonna remove our links that holds the bar to the knuckle. Or a steering link, should I say? Two screws. You could remove your tires if you want to. I have enough room to not need in need it. And now you will should start doing like this. Now we're gonna flip it, and we're gonna remove the center one here. Try to keep your servo centered. Because we're going to change that horn too at the same time. And the reason I want to change it because this is plastic, it's flimsy. Instructions, please read. Get this out. In the kit, you have your aluminum silver horn, your aluminum link, and you do have some newer screws with applied Loctite. And you do have two spacers. We're going to open our instruction book. And figure out where the spacer go. Okay. The spacers are just basically... Uh, Okay, yep. The screws are a little bit too long. Uh, they want you to use the spacer right here when you are going to put your screw back in. That's easy. Now, in the instruction, they said to remove the server out of the vehicle. I'm not going to do that. You'll notice between your diff case here, it's a little bit harder to see because everything's black, but I'm able to reach to reach my screw and remove it. Go a little bit of an angle and remove the, the horn, put a horn, but the servo. Now to remove the horn, I'm just going to wiggle it. And take it out. 
and put my other one and keep it straight. Because if you don't keep it straight, basically what's going to happen here, I'm a little bit crooked, there you go, I'm straight, is when you're going to put your uh, everything back up, your steering might be a bit cockeyed, crooked. Now, what I just, the way I just did it right now, if you don't feel comfy, again, you could remove the servo. There's no problem. Now, they do supply you a brand new screw in the kit, but these are the same size, same screw, and the Loctite's intact. I'm just going to put that one back in. Then I did move it a bit there, but that's fine. Once your horn's on it, don't worry, you're fine. Now I'm going to grab my link. I'll need to open this back. If there is a screw in here you need. And you'll notice the screw is kind of a tapered. Not sure if the camera is going to want to focus on it. There you go. You'll notice one of the, the top part is kind of no thread, but it's a lot bigger. This is where it's going to go through here. On the plastic part, you have a, a, a ball, ball in. On this one, you don't need it. I'm just going to confirm one thing here with our dandy schnazzy instructions. Uh, that goes there, points down. Now, screw in this guy here. Okay. I hate when these servo do, do they kind of jam themselves. Yeah, it's jam. There we go. Try to keep it straight. Now, it's gonna, for some reason, right now it's a kind of dark side. You want the link basically when you install it to go, then go down to your link. You don't want it to face up. Okay. That's where it, this is going to become a little bit more tricky. And what I'm thinking I'm going to do here to make it a lot easier, I am going to remove my wheels that I should have done in the beginning. The reason is those spacer fill up the gap in the steering. Fill up the gap in here, because this is, see? And this is where it's beginning to become a little bit of tricky. We're gonna grab our screw. We're gonna start inserting the screw, but stop until it gets to the side, to the, to the brim, let's say. And we're gonna insert our shim and push it through. There we go. 
and then we're gonna do the other side. Again, we're gonna grab our screw, start inserting it, and just gonna stop When my screw gets to here, right here, okay, I'm gonna stop. And then I'm gonna take my, the insert, put it in. This is hard to do with one hand. And once it's in, I'm gonna push my screw. That's gonna hold it there and then just screw it. And make sure everything's fine. Everything turns. The only thing I don't like, there is a little bit of a slop that I did not have in the past because these have uh, ball ends. But it's not too bad. Worst case scenario, I could make myself a small inner sleeve to fill the hole where the screws are and to remove this. Now, this is not a precision machine. It is a crawler. Having a little bit of, uh, of, a, of a play in it it's more than fine. I'm not worried about that. Um, but yeah, this is how you put your steering link from Traxxas uh, on this vehicle. Like I said, it is part number 97488 gray for this one. And I'll just need to put my wheels back on and we're off crawling. If you guys have any questions or comments, post them below. I'll be glad to answer you guys. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that like button. I do appreciate it. And it does help the channel a lot. Thank you for watching.